One of the more unusual uh, starts to one of our videos. Hello, sir. Not talking much, Pam. Not no, talking. no. I, he he really needs to be intubated. No, no. He's not terribly well, actually. But he is a very um, comprehensive dummy, I and mean, it will replace three of the types that we use for training. And this particular one is all computerised, so it's um, really advantageous for our senior. Um, first aiders. I don't think people realise actually that these days it's not just a case of putting on a bandage or a plaster. Mm. I mean these are highly trained professionals our first aiders. Well this is the, the job today, this is uh, being handed over. They're, they're thousands is. of pounds worth I understand. Thousands of pounds and, we, and we've put the Friends of St John Ambulance is a small band of fundraisers and we raise the money to provide much needed equipment for St John Ambulance. We've all got connections with St John Ambulance. I mean, I'm, I know you know that I've been in it since, I think, Dick Docter, really. Right. <laughs> but uh, there's also um, Susan Temple, Pam Tomlinson, Margaret Dootson and Lynn Taggart. And we all work together running, running events to raise this kind of money that is much needed. Well, this one replaces three other dummies because it does so much more. You do the CPR, well, you can do everything. It's computerised. It? Yeah. We can do everything on it that senior um, uh, first aiders need to do. And I went on one of the courses. I still remember Staying Alive by the Bee Gees is the song to do oh, your CPR yes. too. Yes, About yes. 140 beats, well, it is. Yes. Uh, and seriously, who's your other friend here? <laughs> well, well, I have a number of friends in St John, and this is one of them. Fantastic. I think. And he doesn't answer me back, actually, rather like um, <laughs> many others I know. Otherwise, lots of things on fundraising? Yes, work? we've got um, 23rd and 24th of November, we've got an antique fair in the railway station in Port Erin. And then next year, we've got the Hidden Gardens of Port St Mary. Next year? Never been done before. <laughs> Okay, well, as you can see, the, the cheque was handed over today for this, and uh, this is where people's money is going to, from what you've the, raised. Exactly. The money that we've raised from Hidden Gardens, the Antique Fair, the wonderful evening we had at Lawn House, we've been able to provide not only um, this particular computerised dummy, but also an, a wheelchair that we'll use on the likes of Timwell Day, or for when we're on duty and we need to transport someone to the ambulance or the first aid station. And that was a much needed item as well.